Hello you lovely people, welcome back to my channel for another unboxing video guys and as you might have got from the title there it is the Retro Mini TV Games by Thumbs Up now this unit was sold all over the shop I remember seeing this on Amazon I remember seeing it in Argos I do believe at one point so yeah it's done the rounds guys obviously eBay uh, this is it here now, I'm just going to show you very quickly there because I don't want to show you too much because we're going to unbox this and we're going to uh, take a look around the system. It's the usual kind of thing, very much like an orb. How much like an orb is it going to be? Now, in my pickups video, I mentioned the fact that I paid £2.50 for this from Demelza House, which is a charity shop, and it is completely sealed, as you can see there. Even the bottom is sealed. Yeah, there we are. All sealed up, guys. So yeah, brand new, but will it be worse than an orb? Because there's lots of videos out there reviewing this machine, and they're not good, shall we say. But I would like to find out for myself, and I'd like to show you what my opinion will be at the end of this, guys. So, like I said, not going to show you too much around the box and whatever, because we're going to do that in a minute when we unbox it. Then we'll take a look at the system, and of course we'll plug it in and give it a whirl and see what is on here. 200 games, guys. 200. There's got to be some fun to be had, hasn't there? Has there? Hmm. We shall certainly find out. And again, guys, like I said, with my suspicion being that Thumbs Up are probably just Orb anyway. I think they're the same company. Um, they're so similar. Their uh, games on there and what have you. They are very, very much, I think, the same company. But we're going to find out, guys. So would you like to join me as we take a look at this unit? unbox it and obviously play on it right back in a sec right here we go guys here it is that's a nice looking little package actually look at that right let's pull it up yeah the retro mini tv games that has 200 games built into it apparently plugs direct into your tv no crap eh and on the actual unit itself on there, look, it says Retro Games Control. So yeah, it's got a different name written on there. Obviously, there's the thumbs up symbol. I like the older pixelated icons. They're cool. Yeah. Page six. There we are. Yeah, just the hands holding the controller. Said controller. And a picture of a very old looking TV. <laughs> So even that's retro looking. Yeah. That's the front guys. Then on the side here it tells you features 200 games, plugs direct into your TV, hours of retro gaming. On the other side it just says features 200 games and a bit more pixelated glory. On the bottom it's completely blank. And there you can see one of the seals which are complete intact and then on top there's retro mini tv games and the interesting bit guys on the back as you can see there's some of the games there's all your gubbins at the top there we go if you want to read any of that there we go. i'll pull it in a bit more for you there we go and yeah pictures of the games guys that one racing fighter that should be interesting obviously there's a tennis game there and what have you? What looks like it could be Vanguard, as I was guessing earlier on. Ah, uh, yeah. Thumbs up. Like I said, I've got a big suspicion that thumbs up is basically just Orb of the same company. And there we are, with their address and what have you. <laughs> I like that. This product is only compatible with PAL television. Display systems. Never. Is it? Wow, wow, wow. So, yeah, very interesting, guys. But what do we get in there, eh? What do we get in there? I guess it's time to find out, isn't it? And I think that's going to call for... The trusty dusty knife, as usual, guys, as usual. Right, here we go then. 
Now obviously, as I said, the seals are intact. There's the top one, you can see there probably. But that is intact. Now it's one of those ones that has a tab. So what I'm going to have to do is go here first. Put that down there. And there slightly. There we are. And then I've got to go in the other way, guys, from here, basically, and try and uh, cut that somehow, he says. Here we go, trying to do it without ruining it. I should have maybe just done, done it. Ah, there we go. It's done. Hopefully that's done. Yeah. So no more need for the trusty dusty knife. We'll move him aside. Oh, hopefully there's no need for it. Let's see. Yeah, I think we're in, guys. I hope we're in. I hope so. Are we in? Are we? No. Are we not? Oh, it would be awkward, wouldn't it? Where's it being held, eh? Makes you wonder. Let's have a look. Right, so everything's gone there. Right, okay. I don't want to ruin the box, really, but it looks like I'm going to. Probably because I haven't gone down here, guys, because I'm a fool. There we go. You've got to go down these bits as well, of course. Now I've probably damaged the box anyway. There we go. Let's have a look. Is that going to do it then? Or what? I'm being very rough here, guys. I don't like doing this normally. There. Yeah, right. Let's see how that's got us then. Right. There we are. Are we in? Or what? Yes, we are. At last. We're in. Okay. So there we go. That's the tab down. There we are. Yeah. And let's open this up then. Hopefully there wasn't any more. No, no more. There we are. So what do we see when we first get in there? There we go, guys. That's what you see when you first open the box. There we are. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, pull that out. There we go. Put that down a second. And we'll uh, get rid of the box. There we go. It's empty. Right, so you got a grip thing again here, but look at this. Look, but yeah, let's put that aside a minute. Look, you actually get a thumbs up sticker. How cool is that? That is kind of cool. Come on, but they put that in there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that is. That's pretty cool. Right, look at that. Then you get quite a nice book, guys. This is pretty damn thick, so it's obviously got every language under the sun. In there but yeah that is a pretty nice uh, paper there and it carries on that way yeah oh there we go three triple a batteries guys that's what we're going to be dealing with oh god sake no doubt it's got a screw in it yeah look it's got a bloody screwdriver there and it just tells you about hooking it up to the tv it's all the usual covers and it goes into the next language so yeah that is pretty much it yeah, nice quality book. Not bad at all. There's some of the gump from the back there. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty, pretty solid. Right, let's chuck that outside as well. And bring the actual unit in. So yeah, this is dinky, guys. Look at this. That is tiny. Comes in a little bag like that. Let's have a look. Yeah, that is tiny. But what else do you get? Let's have a look at what else you get first. So I'll put the bag aside. There's your TV lead. It seems to have a decent amount of length to it by the looks of it. Yeah, not too bad. This usual tie there. Yeah, only the two guys, as you can see. So that's what goes into your TV. And that goes into your unit. Yeah. So yeah, nice uh, size, I think. And otherwise, yeah, it is just your great box again. Yeah, put him aside as well. There we go. So yeah, not bad size cable. Hmm, by the looks of it anyway. We'll see when I plug it in, of course. Yeah, nice one. Right. And then, yeah, the unit, guys. This is tiny. They feel not too bad, those. Yeah, the action buttons are quite good. The stick. Oh, that actually feels like it's kind of micro-switched almost. 
No, not quite. No, it's just got quite a nice defined directional yeah. click to it. That isn't too bad at all, guys. Oh, does it push down as well? It pushes down as well, I think. I might be wrong there, though. That is, uh, yeah, all the buttons feel quite nice, but they're tiny. They are very, very tiny. But look at it, look. That is actually pretty cool looking, isn't it, for a little unit. Obviously, it's just got a sticker on there. Have a look at it from that angle. There we go. Nice little stick. It's got a bit of a length to it there. Yeah, that isn't too bad. Yeah, we'll soon see when we uh, plug it in, of course. So, yeah, let's have a look at the sides. Nothing there. On the rear here, guys, you've got your on and off. Like that. One of those cheap plastic buttons there you've got a reset button i presume and an av obviously for plugging it into the tv and then that nothing again what is that hmm that actually looks like to put a bloody strap on it seriously yeah that is definitely where you put a strap on it how weird is that this is a tv unit that you why would you Put it on a bloody key ring or something or on a strap very very odd yeah well, there we go yeah there's a bloody uh, uh, the bloody screw again oh, but yeah what a nice looking little thing to be quite honest tiny and i can see it's going to be a problem for people with bigger hands but yeah what a cool little looking thing yeah not bad at all but of course, what we've got to do is just put it down there and make it look really lost. There we are. Look. Look at that. How lost does that look? But it's time to put some batteries in this thing. And plug it into the TV. All right. Back in a sec. Well, there we go, guys. Here's proof that either thumbs up devices are made by the same company as Orb. Or that both companies buy up these uh, obscure ROM packs guys from these very dubious uh, yeah, game makers because yeah here we go guys you've got Vanguard you've got Magic Johnny you've got Police Dog Lassie and F22 at the top there as usual so yeah it's going to be quite hard for me to sift through these to not show ones I've shown already guys so we're going to start with Racing Fighter shall we see what this little thing Box of tricks, shall we say, or is it more box of poo can do? Here we go. Right, are we ready for this? Are you ready for this? Don't go running, get back here. Right, here we go. Cool. Right. Very um, crap music there. Hmm. Okay, here we go then. Right, let's see. Yeah, right, so... One of the biggest problems with this game, guys, is that the action buttons are above each other. So, when you want to fire, because you can fire, guys, because it's a combat, not like that, combat vehicle game. Um, yeah, you've got to take your finger off the accelerator to do it. Oh, and then you've got to be right on them, practically, to shoot them. I mean, it's fun enough. Just very frustrating with the buttons, guys. But that is down to the unit, of course. More than in. Oh, and then when you crash into them, you die, of course. Let's see if I can do it with like. Oh, no, I can't, guys. I was trying to do it just with the side of my finger, but I can't. So, yeah. And you run out of bullets in the end as well, which is uh, a bit annoying. Oh, crashed again. Let's see how long my bullets last for here, shall we? Right, I want to get that. I think that's more ammo, maybe. If you shoot one of them, it could possibly be more ammo. Oh, there's another one, look. Oh, yes, yeah, sod. Yeah, it's so hard, guys. I'm trying to get your finger off the accelerator and then shoot at the same time. It's practically impossible, guys. It's so bloody annoying. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I've run out of bullets already, look, see? There we go. So now I might as well just treat it like a racer, guys. 
and avoid the bullets that keep coming up in the back of one of the trucks or something. But there you go, yeah. I mean, like I said, it's fun enough if you can master those dodgy controls, guys. Um, you'll be all right. I'll tell you what, the actual uh, little uh, joystick feels really cool. That is nice and clicky and, yeah, it's not bad at all. Yeah, there we go, guys. Wow, you're even getting some graphics here. Look at that. But it's time to move on. Right, here we go, guys. Up next is Toy Factory. Now, we're going to look at about five titles altogether. Let's see what this one's like, shall we? Interesting uh, choice of music again. Little green fella there. All right, let's go for it. Now, I do know that the point is getting the right things in the right pocket, like these bombs have to go into that one. I think the clocks can go anywhere. And then you get the right colour to get the points. There we go. Like that. There we go. Oh, so that's another one of them. Get it over there, that's it. The orange. So yeah, it's quite simple, guys. Does get faster, of course. Ah, nearly. <laughs> now, if a bomb goes in the wrong one, you uh, die, basically. That's it. Over and done with. Ah, see, they trick you as well. <laughs> Just like that, they're buggers. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Uh, slow paced, of course. But kind of fun. Yeah, the clocks don't matter, just let them go wherever. That's it. Oh, you bugger. At least it doesn't matter if they go in the wrong one. It's just them bombs, guys. They've got to go in that one. Yeah, like I said, guys, not exactly exciting, but it does get faster. So it's one of those games, guys, where you could waste a bit of time, isn't it? Oh, that went in the wrong one. Okay. Didn't get any points for that one then. That's the point, really, basically, to just get the points, isn't it? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Got them in completely the wrong one. Yeah. Not too exciting, guys, is it, eh? There we are. Well, I don't know if it's endless or what, or if there is an end to it in sight somewhere or what. But doesn't oh appear to be see sometimes you just gotta let it fall in the wrong one so you can get it in time. Which is very annoying. And I've got a bit of a score in at last. But yeah, I think the music's gonna make you fall asleep. To be fair. Not exactly the best. Oh that's it, see over guys, it's over. Right, let's move on, shall we? Right up next, guys, we've got Brother Ball. Let's see what this one brings to the table, shall we? Oh, little intro here. Very surreal. Little intro there. Right, okay, let's start this thing then. Right, so basically what you're doing with this one, guys, is trying to rescue the ones above when they appear in the pipes, like this guy's look. But don't get hit by anything. Oh, and he just made it there, guys. And that's when you get a point once you've rescued one. Now where's the next one going to appear? And you see those darts as well flying around and the spaceships? They will all get you if you're not careful. Yeah, pretty simple again. That's the thing with these units, guys. They're all very, very simple. So yeah, you can find a bit of fun in them for a little while, especially children could find some fun in them. Um, yeah, but they're not exactly for a serious gamer, are they? Except for the, uh, the wonderful Vanguard, guys. That's always a doozy. Did we get anything for her? Yes, we did. Cool. Oh, I'm going to get gotten by the... Oh, see, like the spaceship gets you, see. 
And obviously once you're all, all gone, that's it, you're done. Oh, and they're taking back, look. The gits. Ah, oh, no, please don't get me now because I don't even get anything for it. I was going to say that dart would have got me then. That would have been good. Come on, quick, back down. Well, that spaceship comes, I'll say. So, yeah, pretty simple and straightforward. Now, on the back of the box, it says relive your retro moments here. Yeah, I don't think you're going to relive anything with these games, are you? Because you didn't bloody play them in the first place because they didn't exist. So there's nothing to uh, rediscover at all. Wait for that thing to go. There we go. We can get him in time. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, very simple, guys. And it doesn't even seem to be getting very much faster or anything, I don't think. I see we want to get those smiley faces already because they're quite... A lot of money, aren't they? Oh, she's gone already, but I've got that one instead. Oh, well, there you go. The ones that are crying for help. Oh, bugger. Missed that one. But yeah, what else is there to say about this? Ooh, apart from dying. Missed it. Oh, well. Can we get over there in time? Let's see. Probably not because that thing is there now. I'm probably going to reach it and it's gone. No, I got it. Wicked. You get 500 for them, I think, don't you? Oh, no, I didn't get anything for that one. It just replaced it. Oh, it replaced the one I lost. Oh, yeah, bugger. So that's what they do then. The smiley ones replace the ones you've lost. Or they give you 500 points. So, yeah. You've got all your balls. You get 500 points. If not, it replaces the lost ball. So that's kind of cool, isn't it? Oh, that was a trick, obviously. Yeah, I think that's as far as we're going to go anyway, guys. I don't want to bore you to death, but it's quite fun. A five minutes play, I suppose. Right, here we go, guys, with the next one. UFO race. Hmm. Let's see what this one's like. Okay, no music or anything. Oh, there we go, a little bit of a tune. Right, okay, there we go. Ah, it's one of these guys. That looks like something off the Atari 2600, except for the, uh, the UFO sprite, of course. Night Rider or something like that, you know. Oh, there we go, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, there's another UFO there, is there? Yeah, so I'm racing another UFO. Okay, more UFOs even. Okay, so you got to pass them, obviously. Without hitting them, ooh, which I'm going to do. Yes, I just hit that one. Go, hmm. I suppose, again, it's fun enough for a five-minute play. Works, I suppose. It's the usual fodder, guys, isn't it? It's the usual fodder for one of these games. For one of these systems, I should say. Hmm. Yeah, let's, uh, shall we play that again? Go on, then. Play it again, then. Here we go. Oh, dear me. Oh, I must have started a bit too quick there, and it made a funny little noise. Go. Cool. Yeah, this is so reminiscent of uh, an Atari 2600 game, except for those big UFO sprite skies. <laughs> That's hilarious. It really is. Are we actually going to overtake it or what? Come on, you bugger. Get over there. Get over there. That's it. Oh, I like the uh, sound effects. They're uh, weird. Can get very annoying very soon, that. Hmm. Now, obviously, I'm going to lose again in no time there. Yeah, there we go. I knew it. Right. Time to move on. I've 
to that gorgeous music. Right, and here we go, guys, with the last one, Crystal Blast. Now, this is a very weird game, guys. I've played this in the past. It's, um, yeah, it's a, you think it would be a match-free game, but you'll see what I mean. Very, very peculiar, this one. Here we go. Yeah, nice music, huh? Very deceiving. You'd think it was a girly game, wouldn't you? But watch this. This is surreal. Right, here we go. Basically, you're dropping bombs in a minute. Onto these. Like that, basically. But yeah, I didn't blast anything there. I want to get that one. No, you have to get it spot on, guys. Spot on. Here we go, like that. How weird is this? Seriously, how weird? Look, it really has to be precise. Nowhere just next to it, guys, that's for bloody sure. Right on top. Yeah, no, I'm just not getting it, guys, because I can't get it precise enough. Very difficult to do. Go for the one in the middle. Let's have a look. There we go, I got rid of that. Oh, that just gets rid of one crystal. Okay. Can get that one? No. And you run out of time in the end. Because you can't get it precise enough, of course. Ugh. Oh, you bugger. Just slightly too early. Again. Here we go. See what happens now. Another crystal gone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got rid of that one. This is odd, guys. Very, very odd. Oh, look, it didn't do anything. What's going on here? Oh, this is annoying. I'm going to run out of time on this one, guys. No, I did it. I did it. Yeah, that, that is very finicky, guys. I can tell you that. Here we go with stage two. Look how washed out everything looks as well. Dearie me. That didn't get anything at all. No, because I'm doing it too early again, apparently. Mm. There we go. Let's see what this does. Anything? Ah, uh, sorry. No, too early again. Oh, this, this is one weird game, guys. Weird. That is the only word for it. Very, very weird. No, too early again. Yeah, at least we got rid of that crystal. Yay! Get rid of that one. No! Well, hey, it's these crystals that are going to be hard now. That music as well, it's enough to make you fall asleep again. What the hell? Yeah, what a weird little system again, guys. I mean, you can only but call it crap, really. But you can probably get, I don't know, what, two minutes of fun out of it? I, I don't know. It's not a, a good experience, guys. I'm finding the, uh, the buttons easier to use than I thought I would. I must give it that. Let's see if we can get this last crystal. No. You bugger. Oh, just, just at the wrong time again. I'm going to run out of time in a minute. Because, yeah, that, that's it. When you hit it, that's it. Game over. Right, right. Okay, then. Let's uh, lay it all out and see what you get. Well, there you go, guys. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> what do I think of it? Well, I think the whole little package is quite cool. What? with the cool looking little system but the buttons are actually quite nice to use considering they're so small i find that not too bad guys not too bad getting the sticker nice long cable for the tv nice looking box and a yeah pretty nice quality you know book with it as well but then we go downhill guys yeah it's not exactly brilliant is it I mean, I'm all right. I paid £2.50 for it from Demelza House, the charity shop. 
brand new, unopened. But I think at the time, guys, they were trying to charge like 20 quid for it, or maybe even over 20 quid. Is it worth that? No, it bloody isn't, because it's the same old shite as you get in all the other thumbs ups and what you get on most of the old machines. It is not that good, guys. The only thing I will say is, if you can get it cheap enough, it might keep your kids entertained, might even keep you entertained for five minutes. And I would not have stuck this sticker in the box trying to promote the company because they might as well have put a sticker of a big fat turd on it. That's what they should have done. Put a sticker of a big fat turd. Yeah, it's one of them again, guys. It's for <sighs> somebody who just wants to waste a little bit of time playing some shit games. That's who it's for. Or children. Um, I kept saying during the play-ons, guys, those five games at least, that there's a bit of fun to be had. Yes, there is. Come on, give it some credit. There is a bit of fun to be had for a few minutes. Um, Oliver loves these kind of things. So it shows you <laughs> the kind of uh, people that would want to play this is either somebody who's got too much time on their hands or children. Um, as for it being a throwback to your retro memories, sod off. How dare you? How dare you insult my memories? I didn't play shite like this. No, I did not. But I do collect shite like this now because I've got a weird obsession with it. But yeah, guys, if you see this one, in all fairness, guys, buy it for your kid. There's a little stocking filler at Christmas or little chuck in for his birthday. He might have a few minutes of fun with it before he smashes it up in frustration. But otherwise, yeah, stay clear, guys. They are still available. You can still buy them on Amazon. You can still buy them on eBay and places like that, guys. I don't think Argos sell them anymore. They did till very recently. Um, yeah, unless you're a collector like me who collects these crappy, crappy, crappy machines, stay clear. And did you notice, guys, there were some really weird scan lines there was screen tearing. The colour was very, very dull. And what you didn't see was that the connection stopped now and again. As well, when I was playing some of the other games, yeah, you just suddenly lost connection and you had to replug it into the, or jiggle it around uh, to get it going again. So this, this cable is not very good, guys. Um, it might have a nice length, but it's not very good quality. But you could possibly find another one, I don't know. It's that weird uh, plug that goes into the back of the unit itself. TV cables are, you know, you can get them anywhere. But that, to have that going in the back of there, I don't know. If you can get a replacement, better quality one. But it works, you know, once you've wiggled it, it works again for a little while. But yeah, it's not a good thing, guys. I totally agree with the videos that are on YouTube already of this machine. Totally agree with them. It's shit. Simple as that. I wouldn't bother if I were you. But of course, I'm going to love it for its crapness. And it's going to go on display. I'll probably never play it again unless Oliver wants to go. But one saving grace, guys, as I always say about the orbs as well. It's got Vanguard on it. So, that £2.50 was worth just getting Vanguard. But I've got a hundred of these already with bloody Vanguard on it, haven't I? So, yeah. Oh, well. Never mind, eh? But, yeah. That's my advice, guys. Simple as that. Stay bloody clear. Right, and with that, I'm going to wrap things up. And I'm going to say the usuals. If you're not subbed already, please drop me a sub. Give me a bummy thumbs up if you feel that way inclined. But not one like that, yeah? Not one like that. And of course, tap the bell icon and the all icon to get any future notifications whatsoever. And again, guys, do you love the retro classics? Not like this. This is not a retro classic. Um, yeah, but if you do love the retro classics and you want to preserve them for future generations, emulation is the way forward. So if you love emulation, whether it's handheld, plugging it into the TV, not with this. And of course, using your PC. And I've got a fantastic group here on Facebook. It's a retro emulation fan group. That made my bestie Nate set up some time ago. We have now got over 600 members. 
fantastic admin team tons of videos for you to watch from emulation performance system unboxings and of course system reviews so yeah if you just love emulation head below there's a link there come over and join us and then guys I also have my uk crowd gaming facebook group where we cover everything from the dawn of time of pong machines to ps5s and everything in between guys anything goes and again fantastic videos there guys because the youtubers put videos up every single day still at admin team ever growing member base guys so if you just love gaming full stop head below again guys come over ask to join and i'll accept you in no time and with that guys i'm going to love you and leave you and say off videos it juice and goodbye and don't don't buy it.